The wind has begun to blow. Ah, the flagpole. Hmm? What's the matter, Hot Dog? Nothing. Well, the flagpole just broke in the wind. It doesn't seem like a good omen. <laughs> You're surprisingly sensitive. Quite unlike the side of yourself you show in battle. There's no need to worry. The wind can blow as fast as it likes. All we have to do is run through the enemy even faster. Right, brother? That's right. We shall become the gale that shreds Liu Biao. It'll be fine. You can count on my father and my brothers. Yes. Well, if you all say so. We do. I'm expecting big things from you too, Hot Dog. Ah! Now, Tigers of Sun, show the enemy your terrible claws! Done it, my lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Master Liu Yao, my apologies. As a warrior and as a man. I wish to live a just and true life. So, from this day, my life is yours, Master Sun Tzu. <laughs> Thank you, Tai Shi Tzu. Look, my lord. This is your land. And these are your men. Yes. I finally feel it. I stand as the head of the House of Sun. Everyone! The land is in turmoil. To be honest, I've no idea what'll happen next. But, with your help, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right! Let's go! The House of Wu stands proudly in Jiangdong, and we are its people! Yeah! yeah! You would go so far, just to keep your little conqueror alive? Such power will only spread further conflict, eventually sundering the very- Silence! Enough of your mad ravings. We need my brother. <laughs> you arrogant fools, content to spread further chaos. <laughs> What? Another trick? Maybe. But the evil presence I sensed from him has dissipated. I see. So his very existence was a curse. And now that he is gone, Sun Tzu is likely saved. Come everyone, let us return to him. Hey. My lord! 
sorry, Da Chao. I guess I scared you. You really did! I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Brother, now you can lead us into battle once more. I don't think so. I'm still too weak. And didn't I already give my speech about handing things over to you? But brother... Sorry. Let me get some more sleep. <sighs> Zhou Yu, take care of Chuan for me. <laughs> Looks like we have no choice. Things go as planned. But do you trust them, Lusu? Yes. Although, Zhuge Liang is an impossible man to read entirely. Then I shall believe also in you and in your faith in Liu Bei. Still, to wait for the wind to turn, then attack with fire from the water. A bold gamble indeed. Hey, you two! Uh -huh. Has the War Council finished already? You were conferring with the forces of Liu Bei, right? Correct. Although, they only sent their strategist, Zhuge Liang. Oh, really? I was looking forward to finding out what kind of man Liu Bei is. My lord, are you sure about this? I know we are in an alliance, but this attack on Hefei... ...is entirely to their benefit, I know. They probably have their sights set on Han Zhong. It does not matter. If we must include Liu Bei in order to destabilize Cao Cao, then so be it. I see. Give and take, as they say. Though, I must admit, I don't like the fact that we are doing the giving first. <laughs> Just so long as we can call in the favor later. Ha! Ah, who cares about the details? Just point me at the fighting and let me charge into the fray. Ha! Ah, you hothead. How about trying to use that brain of yours for once? Actually, Gan Ning makes a good point. The enemy defense is being led by Zhang Liao himself. Both determination and focus will be required to win. Hmm. True enough. It will take the full might of Wu to achieve victory. If you gentlemen are so determined to show your strength, then please allow Lu Su and I to display our intellect. Ah, Master Zhou Yu. Are you feeling better? Yes, thanks for your concern. We have compiled a detailed analysis of the enemy formations and terrain. Gan Ning, Ling Tong, listen carefully. Just charging in will get you nowhere. Hey, don't lump me in with him. <laughs> Come, this is it. We must show the world the courage and brilliance of the men of Wu. Him alone. You reckon? 
It's not in my nature to leave a friend in trouble, though. A friend? Yeah, friend. Everyone who fights on the same side should be friends. Everything's so simple for you. I kind of like that. My lord, is this the way things should be? The division of the land was intended to defeat Cao Cao, but now we plot with him to take Jing province. In truth, <laughs> there are no longer only two powers. There is a third. I fear that both Wei and ourselves are falling into the plans of Zhuge Liang. You might be right. Jing Province is a key region, and the wedge they have driven into it is the god of war, Guan Yu himself. Yes. So long as he is in place, this chaos will never end. This will no doubt be seen as a betrayal, but we cannot allow a worthless alliance to suck us dry. But my lord, what about the princess? Our lord has made his decision. For the future of Wu, we need worry only about the task that lies before us. We must defeat the god of war and take Jing province. <sighs> Imbeciles of Wu! How can I be outdone by such mediocrity? You'd leave a better impression if you fled without the howling. Shall we give pursuit? No. The reinforcements will be here soon. We should muster our forces here. Hmm? Excellent work, Lu Su. Oh. My lord. It is all thanks to their brave efforts. They have watched you, and learned, and are now ready to lead themselves. If that is how you want to look at it, then I have come this far by following in your footsteps, my lord. Ha! Huh. I am happy to hear that. Ambition lives on from one generation to the next. Forces of Wei are on the move. Hmm. Yes, I see them. Cao Pi, he's calling us out to settle this. That is a castle built for war. Thick, tall, heavy walls. Traps and trickery surely await within. Hmm. The fighting will be even fiercer than at Hefei. The spies I sent to Shu Chang 
report that reinforcements from there have been dispatched here. So we must cut them off, as well as take the castle. Correct. We face a critical lack of numbers, too. Each man must act the worth of two, three, four others, if we are to have any hope of victory. Then we have no problem. Each of our officers is worth a thousand of the enemy. Comrades, you may consider this the final battle. Defeat the pillaging way and take the land for Wu. Have fangs, Tiger. I'll give you that. That name is well earned. I'm glad you think so. I am the heir of the Tigers. I shall rip you to pieces and seize this land. Hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself. You can have this castle and Hefei with it. But, this is only the beginning. What? <laughs> They've still got this many men? Retreat. What? Uh, yes, of course. If those are your orders. Continue your struggle and continue to count your wounded. If you still want me, come, bold tiger. Fight me at the end of this chaos. <clears throat> Wei remains so very strong. Strong enough to just cast this whole castle aside. However, the tiger shall not falter. Not so long as his mighty intent burns true. We continue the fight. Continue until ambition and chaos lie defeated. Once it's ours, the enemy's movements will be severely restricted. Oh, you look like I was in danger. I am sorry for burdening you. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. Nicely done. Keep up the good work. <laughs>